In this quick tutorial, we're going to walk through how to use classic light hits in Adobe Premiere. First, let's import classic light hits into our project. We'll just go over here and right click and choose import. Then we'll select the entire classic light hits folder. The effects in this library are really versatile and easy to use. And as you can see, they're organized into five different categories, which makes it easier to locate the type of effect that'll match the shot you're working on. All right, let's look at our footage. We've got this epic drone shot that's panning toward the sun. Then we cut to this woman walking through a field. Both shots have pretty clear light motivation, like over here and also right here. We're going to use light hits to tease out that light a bit more. First off, we want to make the transition between the two clips a bit more elegant. So we're going to add a light hit that ramps up right before the cut. And on the next shot, we'll add a light hit that slowly fades away from the cut. Let's go into the pan folder and grab clip number seven and drag it onto our timeline and go to the effect controls panel and set the blend mode to screen. Since this is a 4K clip on a 1080p timeline, we'll scale the effect down a bit. Let's go to the effects panel and type in flip and we'll grab the horizontal flip effect so that our light hit is panning the same direction as our drone shot. All right, so let's scrub through the clip and find the spot right before it's brightest. And we'll trim the clip there and drag it right up to the edit points. Looking great. Let's dial in the color to match a little better. So we'll go back to the effects panel and open up the color correction folder and grab the Lumetri color effect. And we'll open it up and go down to the color wheels. As with all our video products, you can easily color grade or tint the effects to get interesting looks. In this case, we just want to make it a bit warmer. And we'll maybe dial down the mids a bit. Perfect. Okay, for the next shot, let's grab clip number four from the slow folder. We'll set the blend mode to screen and we're actually going to leave it at 100% scale. One huge benefit to owning the 4K version of the library versus the 2K is that the 4K gives you a lot more range to scale up the effects without losing resolution. So just like before, let's scrub to the part of the clip where it's brightest, and we want to use the part just after that so it fades away from the edit point. We want the effect to be a bit more subtle, so let's add a mask. We'll position the mask over here and we'll feather it way up. Let's, uh, let's grab the Lumetri color effect again and we'll punch up the warmth a bit more in the highs. Awesome. This is looking really good, but let's do one more thing. We're going to duplicate the effect by holding down Option and dragging the clip. Next, let's right click on the effect, choose Speed Duration, and choose Reverse Speed. Then we'll drag it over here so we get a pop of light right at the end. Boom. Perfect. <laughs> 